Ring, 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 ring. Uh, uh, hello, hello. Uh, hey, Ed, what's up? Oh, not much. Just uh, hanging out with my big brothers, Will and Mike. Uh, we have a match, don't we? Uh, yeah. Um, who are we going up against today? Um, dead faction kings. Yeah, that, yeah so, so, something like that. They're like big shit talkers, but they don't really do much, right? Yeah, that's the. Thing. Yeah, they're also part of the um, the, the kings of the, of the Ringworms Club Society Knitting Association. Yeah, they're all like, we're the best in the league. We're, we're going for gold. But they've done fuck all, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, like, we should be scared of them. Because, I mean, obviously they talk a lot of shit, so clearly they're great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys are fucking uh, we're gonna destroy them. Yeah. Well, uh, so these people they they say they don't know about us. I mean, they've not seen all the videos by the mirror image. They don't know. They haven't seen my post. And so, what do you think about them? These people look, calling themselves. Look, look, look. They call they call themselves Royal Flush. I've beaten Brooklyn. Brooklyn is so bad that he had to break his whiteboard out of embarrassment for some of the atrocious answers that he had. And, uh, Mr. I want to go to Hogwarts at Universal, man. I paid $60 for a wand that's made of plastic that I can go swish and flick with. They're nothing. They're nothing. He was so... he Ed was so bad at his strength that he had to retire it, change his entire name, and go with an entirely different persona entirely that is arguably ten times more annoying. So I am so excited to retire Royal Flush, who are going to royally shit the bed with this one. Hi guys, and welcome back to the Worldwide Movie Trivia Team League. I'm your host today, the Grand Admiral. After being uh, out of it for a match, uh, unfortunately I was sick. Uh, it, uh, I mean, you saw me anyway, but uh, I felt a little under the weather, couldn't fully host a match, but hopefully this is better. And once again joined by Jeff Voryu, Big Papa himself. Jeff, we have a match today. We, uh, don't we? <laughs> we have an interesting match. This That's the key word for today, interesting. We have this is basically the team version of me and Asher's rivalry. I mean, uh -huh. when you have these two go at it in the comments section, they just light each other up. I mean, there is some definite beef between these guys. And now we're going to finally see once and for all who the better team is. Well, uh, we uh, definitely will, I think. I hope. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, and everything is just uh, clean, uh, this match, because it's a Royal Flush match, and uh, stuff it, it has happened before uh, in matches that they've been involved in with recordings and I don't know what kind of shit, but I just want a clean, good match, no losing of the recording at any point. So let's just uh, let's introduce these teams, shall we? Why not? All right, so first up we have... Death Valley Kings, they're one and one, consisting of the Raid, Subrath Sharma, and the King, Caleb Coho. Uh, they're part of Kings of the Night Round Table, uh, and their strengths are DC movies and affiliation issues. I don't know uh, why that's a thing, but ring, sure. Ring race, ring worms, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand, Kings of the Round <laughs> Table, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> And their opponents are Royal Flush, the number eight seat. Uh, actually, we actually have a top ten ranked team here. Uh, they're two and two with two TKOs. They're consisting of the Potions Master at Sill, the Black Lantern, Brooklynville, part of the Atomic Nation, which uh, I have uh, now left because like there are way too many of them. I do like these guys though. Um, and their strengths are box office and sitting visibly in front of a camera and staying dry. Shots fire. <laughs> Take with that what you will. Indeed. All right, so guys, we're just gonna start with round one. But uh, Jeff, how does round one work again? Well, round one is very simple. Both our teams are gonna get the same eight questions from eight different categories. They will then have 15 seconds to write their answers down on a whiteboard, pen and paper, whatever means they have necessary. At the end of 15 seconds, they will then show and say what they have written down. Correct answers are worth one point. Incorrect answers get you nothing, just shame. And just a reminder to our competitors, you will have four repeats to use collectively throughout the entire match and to keep your hands from the screen at all times. And most importantly, I forgot to mention, 
If you go perfect at the end of round one, you will have the chance to get a bonus question, a potential ninth question, to go up a maximum of 18 points going into round two. If we Don't worry, Brooklyn won't get it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I assume that the Death Valley Kings are ready. Yep, I'm ready to make Brooklyn break his whiteboard again. <laughs> and uh, real flesh, are you guys ready? In the yeah, words yeah, we're ready. Big Lebowski, uh, that's just your opinion, man. All right, well, Jeff, hit him with the first question. All right, good luck to both teams competing tonight. Your first question is going to come to you in the category of animation. What is the Mad Hatter celebrating in 1951's Alice in Wonderland? Movie I rewatched recently, and it doesn't hold up for me. <laughs> I have not seen it. <laughs> it's so weird. So random. Oh, that's yep. a kid. <laughs> we have a cameo. We have the hey. kid making a return. <laughs> Take your hat. We have he a question in, about the Matt Hatter. He's in, he's in the host Five, training program right now. Four, <laughs> I don't see three, Robert Parker super fan. Two, on the screen. one, and we'll go with at first. Um, It's not right, but Christmas. No, that's not right indeed. Go with Subrath. Was it his birthday? So Ooh, close. So close. Can take that. Go to Brooklyn. Oh, I, I, I think I know what it is now. They said T Day, I know Rob. No, and uh, Caleb, get it? His unbirthday. That, that is, is correct. That is what we were looking for. His unbirthday. Definitely right. hates the lead. As you go into your next question category of actors and actresses, what actor or actress appeared in the films Freeway, Walk the Line, and This Means War? Not seen any of them. <laughs> I have seen two of these. I've seen Walk the Line and This Means War. Are they good? Walk the Line's a good uh, music biopic. Really like that. I was a big Johnny Cash fan, so I like that a lot. Of course. And uh, This Means War, it was directed by Mick G. Stay with <laughs> that. You, you can take with that how you can. <laughs> we go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down as we go to Subrath first. Was it Kristen Bell? No, Sorry, that is incorrect. Go with Brooklyn. Could be Reese Witherspoon. That is correct. Huh. You go to Caleb? Yeah, no, I, I put Hell in the Bottom Carter. <laughs> nope. And Ed? Did you guys say actress? Because I thought you said actor or actress. I said and actor I went for... or actress. Oh, okay, I went for Joaquin Phoenix. That was just wrong. Oh, that's See, incorrect. that's what I had but and I changed it. We have a tie game. <laughs> Alright. Alright, gentlemen, your third question is going to come to you in the category of recent releases. What oh. mutant rips Deadpool in half in Deadpool 2? <laughs> uh, I love this movie. I just, watched so this the, I just watched this the other night. Oh my god, I loved it. I think I still like the first one better, but this was still a I do great, too. This was I don't like sequel. Deadpool 2. Yeah, I didn't like Deadpool I can, I can see why people <laughs> don't like it. I mean, okay, to, to be fair, what I will say is that the second one is probably way more comedic uh, than the first one, and it's not and that much way less funny. funny. I, I thought it was funny as hell. Oh, well. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, and we'll go with uh, Brooklyn first, actually. I think this is a spoiler, but Juggernaut? It is a spoiler, and it is Juggernaut. <laughs> nice. Sorry, everybody. It's a spoiler for a movie that's three or four months old. At this point. Yeah. Still haven't so seen this. We, we should be able to ask about it. Uh, next up is Caleb. Uh, a Vinny, Vinny Jones list juggernaut. <laughs> that was the old one, and let's try to forget about that terrible movie. We go to Ed. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody <laughs> to perfect, do it. <laughs> perfect impression. Super. I was gonna do a juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, still tied. Game. Everyone is on the board, though. As we go to your question, well, comic book movies. The line, I feel great swell of pity for the poor soul who comes to that school looking for trouble, is something that Professor X says to Magneto in two X-Men movies. Name one of them. I think I read that one pretty well. You did a good first take <laughs> on that. I, so, I'm, I'm proud wordy question. Was, like, we've you. had some wordy ones in the, in the past, oh, and I think, have. I think you did a pretty damn good job on that. <laughs> Thank you. McAvoy and uh, Fassbender or uh, Stewart and McCallum. 
Can you repeat the question? Mac of what, Stuart? These timelines oh. are so confusing. Oh, a repeat for <laughs> Royal Flush? All right, so to repeat, the line, I feel a great swell of pity for the poor soul who comes to that school looking for trouble, is something that Professor X says to Magneto in two X-Men movies. Name one. Or flush is down to three repeats. Death Valley Kings still has all four. Okay. Three, two, one, and we'll go with Caleb first. Uh, X-Men Apocalypse. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, we go to Ed. Us class. That is incorrect. Yeah. We go to Subrath. Apocalypse. You got it. Right. And we go to Brooklyn. I'm not, not great with quotes. Is that X2? Ooh, no. The other one it's, we will look for. It's X-Men 1, right? Yeah, the first X-Men. Oh, indeed. Apocalypse. I could have put both then. Not a fucking game Apocalypse. Alright, gentlemen. Your next question is going to come to you. Your next question is going to come to you in the category of comedy. Name the film <laughs> from this synopsis. Lifelong platonic friends look to solve their respective cash flow problems by making an adult film together. Oh, <laughs> love us. Nice. Uh, I knew that would get some laughs from people. <laughs> Canadian movie. Uh, to, to be fair. It could be mistaken for another movie, I think. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple different ways you could go with this. I say based off some of the wording, but uh, I think I think it's pretty glaring. As we go in five, four, three, two, one, pens down. We go to Ed first. Uh, Zach and Mary make a porno. That's correct. You indeed. We go to Subrath. I didn't. Uh, was it the one with Jason Segel? <laughs> Nope. No, that's no, sex no, tape. No, you're thinking of, you're thinking of sex tape. That's sex tape. Uh, we go to Brooklyn. This is the same course. Zack and Mary make a porno. All right, you got it as well. And uh, Caleb? Zack and Mary make a porno. All right. That's correct. That's and they the keep lead the down, lead. The lead down to one. Indeed. To so go into your next question category of my favorite, of course, horror movies. How many times in a row does one need to say Candyman for him to appear? Okay, pretty quickly for this one. <laughs> the Candyman. Can. That's a different movie. That's a, b a good movie, though. <laughs> oh, the Candyman can. <laughs> but it's a very different movie. <laughs> uh, we're on the right. As we're on the right go. Page, <laughs> uh, that's true. As we go in five, four, three, two. One, we do pens down, and we'll go with uh, Subrath first. Candyman, 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 four times. That is incorrect. Oh, so so close, incorrect. though. Ooh, we go to uh, Brooklyn. It's five. You missed that one. That is correct. Yep. Missed one yep. We go to Caleb. Said so three. Four. I don't know why I said three. I knew it was five. Oh, no, it's five. Uh, and I Ed, thought it was three. It's always like you look in the mirror, you say things three <laughs> times. Three. Shows up, right? That is interesting. That we have a tie nice. game. That's Beetlejuice. Six, six apiece right now. All right, we go into the <laughs> next question. Brooklyn, you're going to love this one because it's the category of movie release dates. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's get you, your, your Powerade and sandwich are waiting. What year saw the release of Men in Black? Very good movie. Very enjoyable movie. Enjoyable. What? I'm not the biggest fan of Average to good movie. Either. <laughs> I was not the biggest uh, fan of okay. out. I mean, everybody raved about it, but I wasn't crazy about it. Everyone is entitled to their own wrong opinion, oh, <laughs> as wrong. I sometimes say. I get, I get. Wanna talk hard? As you go. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, on pens down, we go to Brooklyn first. Fuck off, right to 99. Your sandwich no, and power are coming your way. Yeah. We go thought. to Caleb. That'd be 1997. That is correct, correct. for points. Oh, okay, so I'm off by two years, so it's and, and this is Constitution. Oh, I, 1999. Got that. Yeah, and Subrath, did you get it? 99. Oh, okay, only Caleb got that one. Interesting. <laughs> one point lead. 
As we go into your last question, no perfect rounds, but let's see if you can get us in the category of crime. What MCU actor played Billy Bulger, the brother of Johnny Depp's Whitey Bulger in Black Mass? I saw this in the theater. I remember liking it, but that was three years ago. <laughs> with you. I saw this, I didn't see it in the theater, but I remember watching this and liking it at the time. Haven't seen it since though. I think I just kind of, one of those was just, it flew under the radar. What's your... Repeat the question, please. Yes, let's repeat for Death Valley Kings. What MCU actor played Billy Bulger, the brother of Johnny Depp's Whitey Bulger in Black Mass? Both teams have three repeats left. As we go in... Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go with Caleb first. I said Ray Stevenson. That is incorrect. No. Go to Ed. Uh, I said Jeremy Renner. He was also in the movie, but not the one we were looking Wait, for. A British guy missed this? To <laughs> Subrath. It's the British guy himself. Barely come back. He got, got it. it. Indeed. And Brooklyn, did you get that? I Good also job. agreed with Ed. That said, Jeremy Renner. Oh, Good job, Sir Brad. I don't. I don't watch Johnny Depp films now. I, I just can't believe Ed Seal missed this. He's British. <laughs> but I don't watch bad That's films. That's racist. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're going there, everybody. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So well, guys. Coming out of It's not one, a. It's not a Harry Potter film. Of course, he doesn't get it. It made me hex you. But you know what? Coming out of round one, we got a. I was like, Death Valley Kings up 8-6 to six over Royal Flush, so it's still anybody's game right now. It may be low scoring, but at least it's close. And anything can happen in round two, as uh, Royal Flush very well knows, I think. Alright, so uh, we go into round two where really anything can happen, as Royal Flush very well knows, I think, by now. So, Death Valley Kings is in the lead. They will choose to go first or second. Once that decision is made, uh, the team that goes first will bet on either red or black and spin the wheel! Yay, we have the wheel! Um... When they spin, the first spin that they get, uh, if they choose, if they spin a color, then uh, the team with that color can choose category for themselves or for their opponent. Or if they spin a normal category, they can choose to stick with that or just go again. However, if they do go again, they have to stick with the second uh, spin option uh, that they get. Then, from a category, <coughs> both teams will get six questions worth two points apiece. However, if you don't know it based on the question alone, you can go for multiple choice, knocking it down to one point. And of course, there is stealing in this round, so be aware if your opponent misses a question. With that said, Death Valley Kings, you're in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? Hey, Sub, I think we let them go first and uh, ship the bed, as they say. Yeah, let, let, let them go first. Who knows? He doesn't know all about round twos, does he? Okay, well. All right, so you, if it's anything like a round one, good luck, boys. Royal Ooh. Flush, you guys uh, are going uh, first then. Uh, bet on another red or black. And I think I already we've know what you go. Red. We've red, yeah, red. It's always red. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. All right. So I shall spin the wheel for you. Okay, Let's let me enjoy it. I just want to say hi to my mom, my dad, my wife Sue, uh, the dog Bali, who's outside, my brother Graham. All right, let's Very see if we can get you on to the one dollar. You a landed in, the, in a blank category. <laughs> let's spin again. Ed, All right. Want to say hi to back to the folks at home. I actual first spin. Hopefully, it doesn't land on a fucking black blank category. Category of I don't see it. Quotes. 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 Uh, like I, to, to, I, I would like to spin okay. again if possible. Yeah, it's a no from me. Okay, yeah, spinning they're again. spinning again. So whatever it is now, you have to stick with that. Uh, You're just stuck not answering questions around here. Box office! Box office. Let's go. Which actually is their strength. In <laughs> I mean, the strength is struggling. For a little magic. The past, this, so. uh, this will definitely make things interesting. Um, I will ask them the questions in the category of box office, and then Jeff will ask in a little bit to Death Valley Kings. Right. Royal Flush, your first question in the category of box office. What movie has the record of being the most weekends at number one of the box office with 16 weekends? Okay, I think probably Titanic. Right, Titanic. it went. It, it, was, went. it was out for a billion years. It was, it was out and it was just like, it just kept going, didn't it? Titanic, final answer. That is incorrect. Death Valley Okay, 
So okay. I know. I think I know what it is. It, it, I can't remember if Black Panther broke the record or if it didn't. If it didn't reach Avatar. So I think it's. I, was thinking, I think it's I, Avatar. I, I was thinking Avatar or Black Panther. I think it's Avatar because I don't think Black Panther broke that record because I think I missed it by one week. So I'm going to say Avatar, final answer. And that is even more incorrect. Oh. We were looking for E.T., the extraterrestrial. Oh. Uh. Avatar only let the box office for like eight weeks or something. We should have thought back long. to one oh. of the films. Okay. Interesting. okay. It's okay. We're, we're, we're still in the lead. So. That's all right. So the next question. Next one. For Royal Flush, what DCEU film is the highest grossing worldwide? Um, okay, so it's either BVS or Suicide Squad, I think. Do you know, or do you think it miss, is maybe Wonder Woman? I think it's in Five? Uh, should we say Wonder Woman, final answer? Yeah. That is incorrect. It's BVS, 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 BVS. BVS is correct for two points. I heard final answer, so. BVS, I don't answer yet. All right. This BVS, that shit pile. Question yep. three. What was domestically the highest grossing movie of 2000? Uh, that would be, 2000. Oh, domestically? Uh, that is the How the Great Soul Christmas. Sorry, what? It's How the Great Soul Christmas, final answer. That is correct for two points. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Next question. What was worldwide the highest grossing movie of 1989? Uh, 89. What came out in 89? Um, Batman, maybe? No, surely not. Uh, I don't think Batman. Uh, it might be Batman. Should we multiple? Just... Yeah, let's, let's go multiple. Yeah, multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Batman, B, Back to the Future Part 2, C, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, or D, Lethal Weapon 2. Indiana Jones in the last yeah. crusade. Last crusade. Final, yeah. That's correct for a point. Okay, cool. Bringing it back a bit. Almost in the lead. If you get the next one, you get the lead. What animated movie has the highest opening weekend for a G rated movie? I'm pretty okay. sure it's Shrek so, 2, Ed, but it could be wrong. G. Um, I think Shrek 2 is PG. I don't know the ratings because it's different. Because Shrek was yeah. the highest grossing like domestic game worldwide in 2004. Five? Yeah, but opening weekend. Oh, no, 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 but, but Kale today knows it's multiple Repeat the question. Two. Repeat. The question, yeah. Okay. What animated movie was has the highest opening weekend for a G-rated movie? Okay, so I, I heard think Kale say that the he highest knows opening so. weekends are Incredibles 2 and Finding Dory. Is Incredibles 2 a, a step above or is it not? I think Finding... Five, Let's say Finding Dory, final answer. Four. Yeah. That is incorrect. It is not Pixar. I'm pretty sure it's The Lion King, so... I'm Better pretty answer? sure it is, but I don't know if... I think it's The Lion King, but thinking about it, that could be PG, but it is the 90s, Five, and, like, Ferris Bueller was four, PG, and it was, like, should have been Two. Let's say I The Lion King. Four. Lion King, final answer. Also incorrect. Looking for Toy Story 3, actually. Oh, okay. What? I thought that'd be PG, but alright. That's right. And Royal Flush, still to no, get the no, lead no. with your last question. What is worldwide Steven Spielberg's highest grossing movie? I think it might still be ET. So I know ET was the highest and the highest one ever was released. Probably one of the other films. ET. You want us to go with it? Yeah, ET, final answer. Zing, correct. Death Valley Kings, chance to steal. Um, I don't know how much money Kingdom of the Crystal Skull or Last Crusade made, but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's an Indiana Jones. It's gotta be, right? Oh no 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 no. You made Jurassic Park. You made the first What was the Jurassic question again, Kilo? You used to uh, the question? It was um what is Steven Spielberg's highest grossing movie in her Five? Action? Four. You wanna go uh three, three two Jurassic Park final Jurassic answer. Park final answer. Two point steal. That was big. Wait, was it like internationally or worldwide? Yeah, worldwide number. Oh. Yeah, that's why I was like, I was thinking last Crusade. Jurassic Park was over a billion. Yeah, I didn't know. Other movies didn't. We should have thought about E.T. being an answer twice. I wouldn't have been. Yeah. So, well, that round didn't go as well as Royal Flush would like. They're up to nine points, but Death Valley Kings got a couple of steals. They're up to 12. And it's their spin. So, 
Let's spin that wheel for Death Valley Kings. Let's go for the kill shot, sub. Anybody you'd like to say home to? Say hi to the folks at home. Um, yep. I'd like to say uh, hi to the W that I'm about to take. Matt, yeah, Matt Damon. Dick, Matt Damon. <laughs> I don't love it. I don't love it, sub. Would you like to know the other categories so that you could? Yeah, like, can we hear the other categories? Just so right, we know. So, of course, your strength DC is still on the wheel. Edgar Wright, kids sports movies, remakes, Oscars, comedy, 90s movies, quotes, fantasy sci-fi, you're currently on Matt Damon, and animated. We like There's a again. lot I like on that wheel sub, so if we get animated, I'll help us. Like, if we get, like, anything except for, like, maybe 90s, I'm good for basically everything on this wheel. So, I, I, I just don't feel confident in Matt Damon. I only know him from the Bourne movies. Yeah, we should probably spin again because I'm with you. I don't know much about Matt Damon. All right, so whatever it is now, you're stuck with. Here we go. Hex time. Black. Black. And that is your color, actually. So you. we get to pick our category, huh? So you can choose your own. Can you run the categories one more time? DC, Edgar Wright, kids sports movies, remakes, actors, comedy. 90s, quotes, fantasy sci-fi, Matt Damon, and animated. I really like animated kids sports stuff. movies. Oh, did you hear that? They yeah. say kids sports movies. I'm fine with DC, but I just want you to have fun with this. Go for the kill. I feel like I can put it away with the animated, but I also have been studying DC, so if it, either one is fine by me, man. It's it's your call, but I, I think I can kill it. DC animated. also includes the anime anime movie. So, yeah, yeah but I doubt they'll go that. Only, the thing only is, theatrically released. Okay, so I like animated, but DC is our DC is our strength. Um, yeah, let's, 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 go let's, let's go DC. Let's go DC. Okay, they're going DC. Go for the kill. All right, all right, gentlemen. Your first question, category DC. Finish this line spoken by the Joker in 1989's <laughs> Batman. Never rub another man's. Rhubarb, final answer. Two points. Two points. Alright. I, I can just sit back through the accent and that kid is all time solid question. Alright, your second question. In the DCEU, what is the first name of Victor Stone's father? Oh, um. Well, uh, don't answer for us. Uh, don't, don't, I, I think I know this. Do you know it? Okay. Uh, if you need it, we can do multiple Five, choice because I'll hear it with four, multiple choice. Three, two, let's, one. Yeah, let's go multiple choice. Multiple choice. All right. All right. Your options are A. Silas, B. Stephen, C. Samuel, or D. Spencer. A. Silas. Final answer. A. One point. A. Correct for one point. I knew it with multiple choice. Okay. Right. Question number three. I knew it. I'm giving my tongue. In Superman 2, the theatrical version. What does yeah. Clark do accidentally that reveals to Lois that he is Superman? I have not seen Superman 2 in a hot minute. Um, do you know what's up? I have not seen the Richard Donner cut as well. <laughs> uh, it's not the Richard Donner, it's the theatrical right. one. Uh, you want to go with multiple, with multiple choice? Three. Go for multiple choice. Multiple yeah. choice. Okay, your options are A shoots himself thinking the gun has blanks b uses his laser vision on a tree branch c puts his hand in a fire to retrieve his glasses or d answers to his kryptonian name i think it is c i think it's c what do you yeah, think yeah, I, I think it's c c final c. answer one right point. for one point okay okay i just thought you know he takes off his glasses shit it's superman <laughs> All right, now your fourth question. What film has this exchange? I never said thank you, and you'll never have to. Oh, I think I think that's Batman Begins. Uh, I know it's a Christian Bale Batman, and I don't think it's in The Dark Knight. I'm pretty sure it's not in The Dark Knight, and I know it's not Dark Knight Rises. He's saying to Ra's al Ghul, right? He's not saying it. I don't know if he's saying it to Ra's al Ghul, but I know he says it in Batman Begins to Commissioner Gordon, right. I think. So right, Batman we're, Begins... We're Three. Batman Begins final answer. Two, Two points. points. Oh man. Okay. This that is interesting. Easy. Your fifth question. In Watchmen, 
Which member of the Watchmen has the alter ego Edward Blake? Oh, 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 oh. That is uh, the comedian. Final answer. Two more points. Oh, my God. Now, here's an interesting stipulation. If Death Valley Kings hit the next question, they win the match by knockout. Go for the kill, then. Let's do it. Let's do it, boy. Let's do it. Oh boy, this is a potential. You, you either have to hit the one or the two. Doesn't matter which one. If you just hit it, you get it. I got it. This is some potentially interesting waters right now. Your sixth question. What is the first post-1989 live-action film in which Batman has a suit that allows him to turn his head? That's the Dark Knight. Final answer. And your winner! Death Valley King! By knockout! My god. Oh. Wow. I am at a loss. The loss continues for you boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, wow, that was a result that uh, I didn't expect. I don't think anyone expected this result. I don't know if anyone could know. Um, may maybe just uh, the king himself, because uh, he, he said certain things throughout the match. Jesus Christ. Um, that was That's the second time that Royal Flush gets knocked out, and this one is actually real. Uh, let's go talk to our winners first. Let's yeah, we're yeah. doing two let's now. Huh? Odoard, <coughs> does Royal Flush want to talk first? Yeah, uh, we do. We, oh. we usually go to the winners. But we'll go to, but, let's go to Royal Flush. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. That's Valley Kings. Are you okay if we go to I'm Royal I'm okay Flush with first? them going first. I'm okay with them going first. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to Royal Flush first. Um, I'm sorry, guys. You lost today. Uh, what do you have to say about it? First off, Caleb doesn't get the fucking luxury of me ripping my whiteboard. Uh, he does not earn that. Um, second of all, uh, my teammates deserve better. Uh, I shit the bed today. I kind of um, I encourage us to go with box office. I thought that was my strength. And then I got some questions that weren't in my wheelhouse. Um, so, That's I mean, fine. congratulations I... to Caleb. Congratulations to Caleb yeah. on getting the victory. Subra did fuck all. Oh, I Ed, should have you too. Saying? Um, this is not a good day. It's gone horribly wrong. Um, I'd say we're now officially two and two, because I refuse <laughs> to acknowledge the last match. So you know, um, at least we're not on a losing record. Don't be surprised. I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Don't be surprised if we go back to the drawing board, and. Uh, I'll say Freebird. That is all. Just a hint. Interesting, interesting words. All right, well, <laughs> let's uh, talk to our winners uh, today then. Uh, the Death Valley Kings with a knockout, 22 points. That was a massive game, guys. Uh, how do you feel after that? No, so I'll let you talk first. I mean, I, I didn't study before this match. <laughs> I've been too Studying doesn't five. help anyway. <laughs> exactly. That that's the key thing over here, kids. If you wanna win, don't study. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Caleb, you say say what I'm gonna say. Look, you know, I know you have a lot to say. You know I've been trying so hard to prove that when I got into Nazgul and carried Nazgul down into the third round, that it was because of me. When we got here in the second round I KO'd Royal Flush. I KO'd Royal Flush. That was me. And you know what? You know what? I think I deserve a fair shake in this league. Maybe a, a singles run. Maybe the singles title, even. Because I am the king, and I've proved it right here, right now, today. Tw not once, twice. That I carry you the team that I'm on. That I am one of the top players in this league. I just had a perfect round two. I just knocked out... Your favorite, your precious Brooklyn Vale Ed Sale combo, who royally shit the bed today, just like I said they would. And look, I'm the king. And there's this Kings of Round Table faction that I had, that I started with sub. I went to <coughs> sub after the ring race disbanded. I went, look, I want to start a faction. I want to, I want to try and make something special. And we worked hard. We got some good players on that team while I was uh, under my watch. And then I went off and I helped start Multiplex and did fandom and took a few months off from Worldwide and let Sub run that faction. And I came back and we have we have players in that faction. We have Harley Borch in this faction. 
I would not have approved Harley to join this faction. I honestly don't agree with a lot of the picks that Sub made in my absence. And now, I, if, it, if I'm being honest, there's picks in my faction that I that I that I don't like. There's a lot of junk in the faction. It's turning into Ring Race 2.0. And the issue with the Ring Race Sub was it wasn't you. You're a nice guy. I have no issues with you, Sub. Today we were great. But this faction that we have is so cluttered with good, mediocre, and bad players. And I range in the good, and honestly, if you range in the mediocre, and Harley ranges in the bad, and and we got Eli and Dan, sure, they're in the good players, but I can't be a part of a faction that I, it, it isn't mine anymore. I don't, I'm not part of it. It's not my faction. So I'm sorry, Sub, but I'm leaving the Kings of the Round Table. I got a better offer. I have. I got a better offer. I'm wait, sorry. If you want to keep wait. playing as Death Valley, I'll keep playing as Death Valley, man, because I respect you. But if we're being honest, I can't be a part of that faction anymore. It is. It's such a junk faction. I'm so sorry, but it is. It's become a new ring race, and the ring race, they weren't strong. We let we let a lot of people into the ring race that didn't deserve to be there. And I don't, I don't want to be in a faction with some, with some mediocre players. And if I'm being honest, sub, I can't. And I got a better offer. What is Chris your better Clark? offer? Chris Who's Clark. The offer? Chris Clark. I am forever and always a member of the Renegade Angels. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, a better offer. Do we actually have an on-camera <laughs> admission of a Renegade <laughs> Angel? I am indeed a member of Renegade Angels. Indeed, Clark. Yeah. You know your best offer is Chris Matthews. Clark. <laughs> better than it's better than a mediocre team with Harley Barch. I'm just saying. Super. Harley, your hands are in your head I'll right take. now. I think you gotta feel bad that you've just been spurned for Chris Clark. Wow. I'm gonna get you for this, Chris Clark. <laughs> One day. Okay. Okay, that is, that is. Oh my God! Wait, what is happening? This I don't. I don't know. I. I honestly don't know. When someone says that they're, they have a better offer to join a faction that is yet to win a match, other than against themselves. Then today I just did it, didn't I? <laughs> okay. You did it for Kings of the Round Table. Like, so whoever technically was. Well, Kings of the Round. The next such match, loser you that you have. win by KO, but you also lose. You, yeah, you you lose and you win. That's that's interesting. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Whoever <laughs> is this son of a gun is going to be way better than him. I'm oh, sure of it. And, and Harley Borg is guns better than him. I'm sure of it. Uh, Har Harley is not even a part of the Kings of the Round table. <laughs> Anyway, with that all being said, guys, um, Jeff, what are your thoughts on all this? I think I need to like to take like a hot bath or something to process everything right now. This is just... We had... Not only did we have an admission for somebody going into the Renegades, we had... A, we had Subrat and Caleb do a KO to a top 10 team. What is going yep. on? Right. What's in the water? The water cooler with Worldwide Movie Games. I mean, something is going on here. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Um, uh, and uh, what I'm I, gonna have to I give myself understand. the cruciatus gust to stop me from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what What I don't understand at this point is if uh, Caleb and Subrath are going to continue as a team or not. I think uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, but technically, they're two and one, which is a pretty good record. I think it's over yeah. between me and Caleb. <laughs> really? I think we can keep going. But okay, I think no. we can keep going because I like you, man. I, I, I like think you. you I think you guys need some time to sort this out, and we'll get there. This isn't but a breakup. This is just <laughs> but I go, go on the loser club team. Go on. Anyway, guys, this this was uh, a match, I guess. This was everything that uh, was in this video. So with that said, guys, uh, please like the video, comment on all the shit that went down in this video today, uh, share it whenever, wherever you can. Uh, we need the support, we love the support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Please also, if you want to compete in one of these leagues, join our Facebook group where we are very active every day and uh, interact with the stuff going on and you might actually get a match yourself if you haven't already then we have 
besides World by Movie Trivia Team League, we have the Singles League as well on this channel. We have another movie trivia league called Full Metal Trivia, and we have Movie Debating. Actually, Subrath uh, helps run that, which is Movie Battleground on this channel. With that said, though, uh, for Jeff Varyu, Big Papa himself, I am the Grand Admiral, Case Cornelissa, and we'll see you at the next match. Keep taking it.